sensor is out there. It's your tilter Mr. Sensor from Sensor Academy School of Teachings. Thanks for joining me and at this particular moment in time, I'm going to share with you how best we are going to discuss the way we can handle the questions brought under a simple machine. We cannot go any further without discussing how best a simple machine can be described under scientific terms. We are going to find that the simple machine is the word that is used to refer when work has been made easy. So we can say a simple machine is a device that is used to make work easier. Under a simple machine, categorically, we can be able to have a pulley system, as shown in a diagram here, and the pulley system is a wheel with a grooved ring. And now, apart from the pulley system, we can also have an inclined plane, so on and so forth. Now, my main intention is to share with you how best we are going to discuss how to find the velocity, ratio, the mechanical advantage and the efficiency of the pulley system provided this is an example of what an examiner would love to bring in an exam. So now, let's begin. We are going to find that under a pulley system, the way I've labeled here saying this is the effort, this is the load. We are going to find that we have 600 newtons, then we have 1200 newtons. These forces which we have here, the other one, this one which is here on the upper right hand side is called the effort, then this one is called the load. What is meant by the term effort? When we say effort, this is the force applied on an object. By the way, a force is a pull or push exerted on an object. And force as well as weight are ever given in newtons. Then, this force, which is going to be bottomward here, yes, we are going to find that this is going to be called the load. When we talk about the load, the load is the force of account by the effort once the effort has been applied. Now, let's begin. Here is the question. A. State the velocity ratio. As an exam devotee, taking SARS the composer and we want to image victorious, this is for you. We are going to find that when the question says state or determine, we will not involve any formulas that would be so appropriate. Instead, this question is hidden or has a hidden part where we would want to see how best we are going to come up with the answer. State the velocity ratio. The velocity ratio only has a formula when it comes to an inclined plane. Considering a pulley system, the velocity ratio is ever given or calculated as the number of views. How are we going to be doing the number of views? We are going to be counting the number of circles. So one, two, three. That is the velocity ratio. So on A, we are going to say velocity ratio abbreviated as capital V capital R equals, since we don't have a formula, we can include a certain procedure that is going to back up our answer. So we can be able to say number of weeks. Then we are going to say the velocity ratio here is Z in 3. The velocity ratio will never contain units because the word itself says velocity ratio. And as such, we are going to find that it is just going to be a digit that is going to correspond with the circles that we had here. 1, 2, 3. Or the number of blocks. 1, 2, 3. So this is for the velocity ratio. Now, B. Calculate the mechanical advantage. We are going to find that the mechanical advantage is also a ratio, but its comparison lies between the load and the effort. So I'm going to find that the mechanical advantage is the ratio of the load to effort. But I'll give an example. When we have a ratio L to B, the first ratio and the second ratio, these two can be expressed as a fraction. Whereas the first ratio is the numerator, the second ratio is the denominator. The symbols here are going to be an oversight. Then we are going to say mechanical advantage equals we have the load. The load here is that is 1200 newtons. Remember always at each and every stage in physics, it is relevant to be putting and be working with units. So we say 1200 newtons over the effort is 6. 100 newtons. Mechanical advantage, remember, in the first place I said it is a ratio. So we are going to cancel the same units with spectator units. We get rid of the zeros. Then we say 6 into 12 is going to give us 2. So the mechanical advantage is going to be 2. 
whereas the velocity ratio was C3. Now, the last question is saying, calculate the efficiency. The efficiency de determines the accuracy on how best your machine can operate without error. And as a result, we are going to find that the efficiency under a pulley system is the comparison between the velocity ratio and the mechanical advantage, but the answer expressed as a percentage. Let's put this into action. So now, we are going to find that the efficiency of the system is going to be calculated as the efficiency of the system equals mechanical advantage over velocity ratio multiplied by 100%. Then, the mechanical advantage of the system was 2 over the velocity ratio was 3, multiplied by 100%. We can be able to say this as over 1. 2 times 100% is going to give 200%. Then, this is going to give 3 multiplied by 1, which will give a 3. Then, the efficiency, the efficiency of the system the efficiency of the system finally is going to be efficiency equals 3 into 20, it will be at 18, giving 6, then this will leave a remainder of 2. 3 into 20 again, it will be a 6, leaving a remainder of 2. 3 into this 2, it, we are going to say it can't be divided into this, so we are going to put a point, we add a 0, so this is going to give 6. So the number is going to be recurring, so the number is going to be 66.6.6.6, then 7 we can give percent. So, this is the correct answer of how best you are going to calculate the efficiency. And what would be important, brethren out there, is that we need to know that the velocity ratio is the number of views, the mechanical advantage is the comparison between these two forces, whereas the efficiency is the comparison between the mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio. Since there is, and as the family out there, I hope you find this video beneficial. Rewatch, pause, grab a paper, pick it up where you haven't understood. Ensure that you are able to develop self reliance and you are courageous enough to image victoriously. Remember, you can do it. The beginning is always the hardest. In the few days and weeks that are remaining before the final exam, do the expected and ensure that you contribute to high expected results. For now, till next time, it's a good day.